Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am excited to be back with you all. This is the first time um, I've been back on Periscope since my vacation. So I am truly, truly excited and happy to be with you all today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And I say welcome to the Morning Glory Show, where in the morning, everything is new. Our mercies are new. Our grace is new. Our opportunities are new. I hope when you woke up this morning, you said, Lord, I am expecting, I am expecting the great things that you have for me today. I pray that that is your expectation today, knowing that the Lord will not hold any any good thing from you because he said he is the giver of all good and perfect gifts. And so I say welcome to you um, this morning. Listen, you know, over the past couple of weeks, um, we have been talking about hearing from God so that we can get on the path that God has for us so that we can really truly experience that abundance and that wonderful and that magnificent life, right? And so since we've been on this journey, some of the things we discussed or some of the, the techniques or methods or ways that we have discussed is first of all, we want to get in a quiet space so that we can hear from God. It's going to be really challenging to hear from the Lord and hear his plans for us if we're always busy. If we don't at least take a few moments, at least an hour a day throughout your day to just really be in total silence so that you can hear from God, right? The other thing that we talked about is that there is a great need for us to wait patiently. You know, God doesn't work on our time. We work on his time. And so we have to be patient because the Lord has his own timing that he want to reveal to us. And so we can't rush him. Even if we say, Lord, act immediately does not mean that's what he's going to do. The third thing that we talked about is that we need to ask God. We need to be specific. And ask God to give us a clear picture of what it is that he has for us, right? We can ask God and say, Lord, is there anything that you want to say to me? And then just wait on him. Or we can ask God, Lord, is there anything you need me to know that I'm not even thinking about, right? Next, I want to share with you is the importance of writing down the response that you hear from the Lord. You know, when I attend conferences, there is always a speaker there that instructs us to trust a short-term pencil over our long-term memory. And what is it that they are saying to us? Or what is it that they are trying to convey? They're trying to convey that we may not be able to remember everything that we've heard or remember everything that we've seen or remember every conversation that we had. However, if we get in the habit of writing things down, writing down the notes, writing down what we hear, writing down what we see, writing down um, the conversations that we have, pertinent pieces of information, if we write those things down, we don't have to try to put them to memory because we can always go back and reflect on it, especially when the time calls for it. Same thing here. When we ask God to speak to us, when we ask God to reveal his plans for us, guess what? He's going to do it. Again, we don't know when, but he's going to do it. And so when God reveals and speaks to us, we want to write down that which God has spoken. Even in the book of Habakkuk, God informed and instructed Habakkuk to write the vision down and make it plain. Don't just hear what I say, write down what I say. And so that wasn't just a command. That wasn't just a command that the Lord gave to Habakkuk. That was also how we got the book of Habakkuk. If you look, chapter 1 was Habakkuk writing down what he wanted to say to the Lord. And then chapter 2 was him writing down what God said back to him. Even if we look at the Psalms, David, King David, um, 
he literally meditated on the first five books of the of, of the Bible and then he wrote down what he felt as well as what God said back to him. So whether he was feeling fearful, insecure, scared, whatever the case may be, he wrote it down. And then he wrote God's response to his feelings. And that's how we got the book of Psalms, right? So in the event you are suffering from a prayer life that seems to be stuck in a rut, right? You're praying the same thing over and over. You're saying the same thing over and over. God, do this. God, do that. God, bless this person. God, bless that person. Lord, we thank you for our food and the nourishment of our bodies you know we could say this the same prayer monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday saturday and sunday then friday uh evening thursday evening wednesday tuesday monday uh sunday saturday see i went backwards we're saying the exact same prayer well i want to say to you this write it down Write it down. If your prayer life seems to be stuck in a rut, then I would say write down your prayers. Write down all your feelings. Write down your emotions. Write up down your thoughts. What is it that you want to say to the Lord? And what is it that you are wanting to receive from the Lord, right? Write it down. You may say, listen, if I write this prayer out and then read it, is that prayer? Absolutely. Because when you're writing it, you're praying it. When you are saying it out loud, you're praying it because God not only hear what you say, but he also hear your thoughts. He also hear the deep desires of your heart. And so this is actually called the spiritual habit of journaling, right? And it is a practice that us as Christians should really adopt. And make it a daily practice, right? Because a journal allows us to write out our thoughts. It allows us to write out our feelings. It allows us to write out our mistakes. It allows us to write out our lessons learned. It allows us to write out our prayers. And again, it allows us to write out what we hear from God. I have a journal. I've kept a journal for many years. And the great thing about journaling is that you have an opportunity to reflect. I remember times where I was going through certain things, certain circumstances that were unpleasant. And so I would write out the prayer. But the beauty is I was also able to write out the prayer or the answered prayer when God manifested the solution, when God brought me out of the circumstance and so I wrote a thank you letter to the Lord and I put a date to it so that I knew when the Lord answered my prayer and the reason why that is so vital is because we're going to go through a season like that again and this time instead of being discouraged this time, instead of being worried and confused and just totally out of character, you get an opportunity to go back to your journal and see how God brought you through the last time. Because the Lord says that I am the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. And so get in the habit of writing it down and you will be amazed at how peaceful your life will be you will be amazed at how joyful your life will be and you will be amazed at how that that practice alone will grow your relationship with your lord and savior jesus christ so listen, that is my word for you today. That is my message for you today. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe and remember, put God first in everything you do. Have an incredible day. God bless you.